Hi Aquarius, how are you guys? I just tried to start your reading and I did not press record, so I was like talking to myself in here. Don't mind me. How are you? Um, <laughs> my shop is closed. A few announcements. Skip ahead. Skip ahead two, three minutes um, if you don't want to hear these. Um, my shop is closed. I plan to reopen my Etsy shop and my store on my website. My website is still open. My store is closed until July 1st. I will let you guys know when it's reopened. should be July 1st. I have new products coming in. Everything will be restocked and I have new products coming on the 1st. I am not accepting new clients right now for personal readings. I have a wait list going for um, the beginning of July. I will go through my entire wait list and offer them an opportunity to book with me before I open it up to everybody else. I will let you guys know. It will probably be like mid-July, possibly into August because I do have a long wait list right now. Um, what else? I do accept tips. Tips are greatly appreciated if you feel called to do so. That is at the bottom of my description. I accept both Venmo and PayPal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to everybody for all the love on your last videos. Thank you for all the new subscribers, um, all the comments. I love you guys a lot. Thank you for all the emails. I am trying to get back to everybody. Honestly, the like... <laughs> Lunar eclipse, I'm like, whatever, not bothered, didn't bother me at all, whatever, it's cool. This solar eclipse a few days ago beat the hell out of me. <laughs> I hate astrology sometimes because it's like, I'm fine, I'm evolved, I'm fine, I don't, I'm not going to be bothered by this. The solar eclipse beat the hell out of me. I have been so just tired and not feeling great lately and um like my <laughs> everything's a mess I need to clean I need to like there's a lot I need to do and I am just trying to like recharge a little bit so I am getting back to everybody emails slowly but steadily if I have not responded to your email I promise I will do my best to get back to you I am so sorry for the delay on that I am just very tired and I uh, have a lot of stuff going on right now. Okay, let's see. What does the Aquarius have coming in? What do we need to know? What do our Aquarius buds need to know? King of Pentacles first card out. That's good news. Nine of Pentacles. Ooh. Pentacles. Is somebody making some money moves here? Page of Wands going off on a new venture, possibly. Six of Pentacles, that's going to give you back what you've been giving out to others. We got three Pentacles on the table, three out of four, guys. That is good news. Pentacles is always good news. That is money. It's other things, but most importantly, it's money. Oh, bottom of the deck. Yeah. Somebody has um, some money coming to them for sure, but you're anxious because it would require you to walk away from some things. You need to follow your heart here. You need to cut some things off possibly and some cycles here is going to bring you good fortune with the will of fortune yeah somebody is feeling burdened because you're holding on to things here that you need to release sun five of cups in reverse let go of your past here somebody is holding on to i don't know it might be for instance Let's say that you feel called to start a business and you really want to start a business and it's all you can think about, but you did try to start a business five years ago and it did not, it was not successful or you just didn't have the time to make it happen. So now instead of following your heart with the Knight of Cups, instead of going towards what you need to go towards, you are hesitating. And this can go for anything, you know, pentacles can be um, a relationship too, especially the king of pentacles coming out. That's, that's a hubby there. That's a husband. <laughs> that's a, that's daddy. That's a husband. High priestess. Somebody needs to start to make movement when it comes to your stability here, your um, financial independence. I do get that you have some codependency here. Yeah, son, you are about to be blessed with a relationship, Aquarius. 
sorry, this is going off in two different directions. <laughs> You're going to be blessed with money and a relationship, Aquarius. And it's because you are going to start making action, taking action in your life here towards freeing yourself from codependent, you know, relationships, codependent situations. It might be that you are in an unhealthy work environment and you want to leave it, but you feel a lot of anxiety about walking away from it. Spirit is saying whatever you are being called to do right now, do it. It's time for you to go off on something new here. And you've been, you're the type of person that gives out a lot of love. You might help people financially with the Six of Pentacles. You know, you, you lend people your time, your materials. So this can be, you're the type of person, if somebody needs to move, you're going to help them move, even though that sucks. <laughs> you know, somebody needs some money to help them get up on their feet. Somebody needs a couch to sleep on for a few nights. You're that type of person. You're the type of person other people can rely on. And you've been in situations where people have kind of got used to that, like at work. You know, you're the type of person, if somebody wants to go on vacation, but they need this project finished, you'll help them out with it. But it, it's got to the point that other people rely on you too much here, and they kind of expect you to be there for them, especially, it might be financially. It might be that you, you know, do well for yourself financially, but you give out a lot of money to other people. It might be. Take it how it resonates. There is a, a new beginning coming towards you in the physical here, but you need to walk away from things that don't serve you because there are some burdens here that you're holding on to, and with the Four of Pentacles, it is burdening you financially. There's a, a new turn in fate coming towards you here, but it requires you to end cycles. You know, if you're going to be blessed financially, you need to be able to set boundaries with people that are, you know, kind of taking advantage of you financially. Follow your intuition on what you need to cut off here, but I get that once you do make the decision to release any situations that make you feel taken advantage of, there are some situations in your life, Aquarius, where you feel taken advantage of and you need to release them. And it, like I said, it might be at work, you don't feel appreciated. It's time to start looking for other jobs. It might be that, you know, with your friends, you don't feel appreciated. Maybe start to distance yourself from the codependent ones, the ones that expect you to give and give and give and don't really give back to you. Take a good look at your relationships and which relationships make you feel good and uplifted and which relationships leave you feeling tired and drained and maybe distance yourself from the people that are making you feel drained. Chariot, it's like go time. It's go time in the physical here. But you have burdens in your life. There are burdens you need to release. It's from your past. There might be people from your past that you're holding on to or like I was saying earlier, it might be that this journey that you're going on, okay, let's say that King of Pentacles, somebody is wanting to move towards you and offer a relationship. This is somebody wanting to come in and offer you a relationship. They see that you are single, that you are on your shit, that you're independent, and that you're ready to, you know, move into a relationship here. And this person sees what type of person you are, sees that you're a very loving, giving person, and wants to come in and heal you here. Could be a cancer. A Capricorn, a Libra, a Sag with Jupiter, a Sun, um, could be a Leo, or a Pisces. This person sees the type of person that you are, wants to come in and take care of you, sees that you are the type of person that takes care of other people and wants to come in and take care of you. But maybe the last time you allowed a relationship, you know, allowed somebody to come in and kind of woo you and take care of you, it was a narcissist that was just love bombing. So now when a, somebody comes in and tries to genuinely, um, yeah, nine of wands, you might be defensive towards this person because the last time, yeah, there you were in a cycle of being backstabbed and betrayed by others. So it might be a situation where this person is... Um, you know, I'm in love with you. I want to be serious with you. Move in with me. 
And you know, this is somebody that is serious, but the last time somebody asked you to move in with them, it was a financial abuse situation. And as soon as you moved in with that person, it, it didn't go well. And you know, they were um, trying to get a lot of money out of you. They were taking advantage of you. It can be that type of situation, something like that, Aquarius. Take it how it resonates. But Spirit is kind of asking you to release the past and trust that this is a, a new beginning here and that you have ended cycles in your life and you are moving forward. And once you kind of release this baggage you've been holding on to, you're going to be unstoppable. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's a Capricorn for sure. Capricorn Cancer. Somebody is. There's two Capricorns. <laughs> Libra or Leo or Scorpio. <laughs> What? Oh my gosh. Or Pisces. It's a soulmate here. It is. You, um, Eight of Cups goes in search of the Two of Cups for the Ten of Cups. This is somebody that is going to bring you a lot of happiness into your life. It's somebody that is going to fill up your cup the way that you fill up the cups of others. This person sees that you are a very loving and giving person. And it's somebody that wants to... Um, now take it how it resonates, Aquarius. Because I do get that this is a feminine energy here. There is a masculine energy that sees that you are very loving, that sees that the feminine energy, and I'm going to go it that way, but take it how it resonates. It can be flipped. They see that you are a very loving and giving person. This person is also a very loving and giving person. And this person sees your heart and knows that you vibrate with them, knows that they would be able to take care of you and you would be able to love them back. This person really wants to take care of you. Might, might even be financially. This person wants to come in and be like daddy, you know? This person wants to give you gifts. This person wants to pick you up and take you on a date. This person wants to provide for you in some way. It's a very, um, it's a very positive masculine energy. I get this person has very good intentions and they are very set on, <laughs> it's almost like the way that he's like upside down. <laughs> this is a Capricorn card for me, but this also gives me like Taurus vibes. The way that he's with the bull here, the way that he's like upside down, this person wants to woo you for sure, but their heart is in the right place because the devil is coming out here, but I don't get that this is a toxic devil. It's a Capricorn type energy. This person might have Capricorn in their chart or you're, you do. This person is like, <laughs> it's not a bad energy. It's an energy of that's mine. <laughs> it's a possessive almost, but I, I really don't get a toxic energy from this person. I get that they see your heart and they feel like you're the person they've been waiting for. They feel like they've been searching for somebody like you. It's like, you know, they, <laughs> they might have even manifested you. They might have wrote down, you know, this is the type of woman, man that I want to find. And as soon as I do, I am going to woo that person. This person, like, <laughs> sees that you are, um, you're like the one that they've been waiting for. This person is a very loving person and they feel like you could love them back. You are the type of person that would be worthy of the love that they give. It could be a Leo. I talked in the Leo readings about how Leos can be like this when they're in a good energy. This person um, is going to take a leap of faith towards you. If there has been any toxicity, it's going to be overcame with a strength card. There's going to be justice. And like I was saying, I get that it's not that this person has been toxic. I don't get that this is a toxic person. Aquarius. So if you have not met this person yet, it could be somebody coming in towards you. It's somebody that page of swords. If you do not know this person, it's somebody that knows of you. They've been watching you. They have. And it's not, again, I don't get that it's a creepy energy. It might be that this is like a friend of a friend, you know, somebody you met at a party one time, something like that. It, it might not be a situation if you don't know who this person is, if you don't know who I'm talking about, it is somebody that has been watching you, has been gathering information about you, and really wants to commit towards you and really wants to come in and woo you. And again, this kind of can set off a lot of red flags in somebody. Yeah, this person feels like there's competition. Five of Wands, that's really what it is. That's what I was saying. This person feels like you are very attractive, 
you are very loving, very giving, and they feel that other people have their eye on you too. So he, I'm saying he, take it how it resonates, he wants to come in and um, do something like a grand gesture for you, and it's not to manipulate you. It is more so to win you over because he feels like you're a prize to be won, and he feels like, you know, somebody else is going to snatch you up if he doesn't snatch you up. It's a very sweet energy. It's not toxic, but as I was saying, if you are somebody that has been in an abusive relationship before, it sounds like love bombing, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. But I get that spirit is wanting you to trust your intuition here, to trust yourself. Not to allow your fears to push this person away. If you have been in a toxic relationship, yeah, to trust that you have healed and to trust yourself, especially with the third eye here, to trust yourself enough to... You'll know if this person is getting one over on you. You've healed. You're not going to fall for red flags anymore. You've moved on from the toxic relationship of your past. So don't count this person out just because they are really, really... I get this person really wants to impress you. <laughs> it's cute. It's very cute. They want to impress you. They want to woo you. They want to win you over. And they want to love you. This is somebody that's in love with you. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. They really want to give you an offer. And it's because they feel like you are a very loving and giving person. They feel... This is somebody that has watched you in some way. Aquarius. I know as an Aquarius, you're going to be like, <laughs> what? <laughs> you're not a water sign, you know. This is a, a Pisces or Cancer read. You feel like, oh my gosh, they've been watching me. I'm Aquarius, excuse me. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Aquarians are very independent. This person feels like you're independent, though. They see that about you and they like it. They feel like you're very independent and they feel like Nine of Pentacles is ready to go to the Ten of Pentacles. This person feels like you are ready for a serious relationship and feels like people have their eyes on you and feels like you're such a loving and giving person. This person wants to come in and be very loving and giving towards you. They feel like you need somebody to take care of your heart. <laughs> this is very cute. I'm so glad I'm getting a cute reading. I hate when I get toxic readings. I just want cute readings, please. <laughs> the message that needs to come out will come out. A lot of people deal with toxic stuff, so it's, you know, I don't mind giving those. Nine of Pentacles. This offer is being, because this is, you know, Page of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Very contradictory energy. Page of Wands is a childlike energy. It's wands. It's fired up. It's free of baggage going in a, like, new direction. And look, it's like a split energies, too, going in two different directions. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight. It's delays. It's slow movement. It's Taurus. Judgment. Somebody needs to make a decision here. You're at a crossroads and you need to make a decision. This decision would require you to let go of your past, to let go of your judgments, to let go of burdens you've been holding on to, and to trust yourself that you have learned and you have grown from whatever past situation. I do get Aquarius, you've been through something kind of traumatic. And it might have caused you to close your heart off to new people for a little while. And this would require you to kind of let go of your judgments, to let go of the baggage and go off on something new, make a decision. But with the Nine of Pentacles here, it's being slowed down. Yeah. At a crossroads here because somebody has some inner emotional issues that they're dealing with. And it's like being hung up. Again, somebody might have some problems with work that they need to sort out with the Eight of Pentacles here. The Ace of Swords, seeing the truth in the situation. Somebody needs to see the truth. You've been, there. Seven of Swords. Yeah, there's some deception. I don't get it's with this person. I get it's a whole different situation. This is a brand new beginning in the physical with this person. I get this is somebody new. I don't think that you, I don't think this is an ex, Aquarius. I get this is somebody new. 
I mean, it might have been somebody that you went on a few dates with, or I don't get that it's like an ex coming back towards you. I get that this is somebody that has kind of been admiring you from afar and that wants to come in and take care of you. But things are being stalled in your life here because you need to make decisions and release burdens and to walk away from some things. And I don't get that it's, it's about this person. I think that it's something else. And I mean, it might be with work. Maybe you work too much. You have a job that demands too much of you and you need to put some boundaries in place with work before spirit will send you this partner. Or it might be that this partner sees how hard you work and feels like you don't have time for them. The tower, it's gonna be a surprise when this happens for you. Eight of Pentacles coming back out. Three of Pentacles, death. King of Wands, Justice. I'm going to clarify why the King of Wands is here. Could be an Aries or Scorpio. I want to see. I want to know. I want to know. Because King of Wands, this is somebody that, you know, is very um, sexual, lustful. So it can be somebody that needed some time to transform and to grow up. They were might have been lustful before, but like I said, I don't get it from this person. Somebody is watching you. <laughs> Watching, stalking, yeah, one-sided relationship, twin flames. Date, meeting somebody new. Attraction. <sighs> okay, Aquarius. What this is, is that you have two masculines here. You do. You have a twin flame. Take it how it resonates. Whoever I'm reading for has a twin flame that was very lustful, that was a playboy, that was um, very sexual in nature. It was a one-sided relationship with this twin flame. This twin flame was not healed. They were not able to give you the love that you were giving them. They were in a very sexual mindset. They went off and dated other people. There was third party interference and this person obliged, you know? <laughs> this person had other people in interfering in the twin flame relationship and they gave in to seduction. This person is watching and stalking you now but it is their karma for what they did. It's their karma for being lustful. It is. You have a soulmate that's coming in and it's this soulmate, you're being blessed with a soulmate here. Like I was saying, I, this soulmate is a completely different person from the person that you were dealing with in the past. It's going to surprise you the way that this person comes in your twin flame needs to work on themselves before they would be able to be with you. And your twin flame has not been working on themselves. So because this person, and I have picked this up for a lot of twin flames. I work with a lot of twin flames. This has happened a lot. For the masculines that did not do their shadow work, that did not heal, that continued to mess around with karmics, that continued to betray their divine feminine, and the divine feminine continued to go within and heal, what spirit is doing for a lot of twin flames, a lot of twin flames, the vast majority of twin flames that I work with, this is happening for the feminine. Because the divine masculines, the ones that did not heal and do their work, and some did, a lot of them did not. The ones that did not are about to watch their divine feminine go into a serious commitment with a soulmate. Yep, a lot, a lot. I picked up on this more often than not with the twin flames that I read for. And it's because the divine feminine deserves love and the divine feminine is a loving person and gives a lot out to other people. And that does not mean that she has to continuously give and give and give until she's bled dry by her divine masculine that will not heal. That is staying stuck in karmic situations. So what spirit is doing for the divine feminines, spirit, and I talked about this. I used to do just um, twin flame readings. I didn't start doing all the signs until a few months ago. I think it was December. And it's because I <laughs> cussed out divine masculines in my divine masculine reading and told them goodbye. And that was the group I was picking up on. 
they were continuing to lean in and feed into these karmic situations and just allowing these karmics to do whatever the hell they wanted to do at the you know suffering of the divine feminine so what um and this happened when saturn moved and i talked about this in my old readings saturn rules karma if you are in your saturn return you it is an important placement know where your saturn is know the aspects that your saturn has know the house that it's in know which sign rules your house uh i mean which sign yeah which sign rules the um your saturn placement it's a test a lot of the divine masculines failed their test and they were warned i warned them i warned them you can go watch my old readings i warned the masculines over and over and over i there was a reading where i literally told the masculines if you do not ascend and your feminine ascends it's going to get to a point that uh you're not going to be in resonance with your divine feminine anymore and spirit will send in a um, divine masculine that does resonate with your divine feminine and that's what this is Somebody was dealing with a twin flame masculine that was lustful and that put their divine feminine in a one-sided relationship where they were only, um, they were taking and taking and taking from their divine feminine, but the only thing they were giving back was lust. And they were also lusting with whoever, whatever. So because they did that, their karma is they're going to sit and watch their divine feminine start to date somebody else that is going to step up and be everything that that masculine, that twin flame masculine would not be. It's the easy way or the hard way with Saturn and <laughs> this masculine um, twin flame chose the hard way. Yep. Divine Feminine, don't feel like this soulmate is going to treat you the way that your uh, twin flame did because this soulmate is coming in ready to uh, commit to you and ready to treat you well. And it's part of your um, twin flame's karma to see that happen. And they're going to see what they could have had with you, which is what happens. This uh, twin flame you were dealing with thought that they could go dip their dick, you know, <laughs> Thought that they could go do, you know, do everybody, <laughs> treat you bad on purpose, take out their wounds on you, and that you would still be waiting for them because they knew what a kind and loving person you are. And, you know, that really shows what type of person that your twin flame is. And that has more to do with their conditioning and wounds, but still, they need to take responsibility for that. That, you know, the type of woman or man that you look at and see what I can get out of this person what I, and what I can get away with with this person because they care for me. Somebody else is going to see that and think I'm going to do everything I can to keep that person. The soulmate's a better, the better choice here. Somebody's wanting to communicate love to the Aquarius. Look. Temperance, wanting to work things out with you. The lover's emperor. Move forward from um, this toxic relationship. And if that didn't resonate with you, you know, that doesn't have to be for everybody. It's a general reading. That could be that somebody was dealing with an ex that cheated on you, that was lustful, that treated you bad. And now you've met somebody new and they're going to come in and be everything that your ex couldn't be for you. But for a lot of people, it's a the past person was a twin flame and you did your healing work and you did what you're supposed to do and you've been waiting for your twin flame to heal and there just aren't healing and spirits about to send you a soulmate that will be what that masculine was supposed to be for you and that's because that's with justice came out that is your justice because you are a good and loving person and did your healing work. You don't deserve to sit around and wait for a person that can't grow up and can't keep it in their pants. I get you get you have money and a serious relationship coming to you, Aquarius, but it requires you to let go of um, burdens in your life. And it might be that your twin flame relationship is a burden. And I know, you know, if you are very set on your twin flame that's hard to hear and that's sad 
but you have to think of it as, you know, a twin flame relationship requires you to heal before you can be in union with your twin flame. Is you, <laughs> it's you. Are the divine feminines waiting on the divine masculine twin flames that are sleeping around, that can't keep it in their pants, that are, you know, giving into addictions, that, you know, come around to try to drain the light out of their feminine and then go right back to being, you know, man whores, you know, or <laughs> lady whores, whatever. Is that fair for the divine feminine that's healed and that's been a loving person and tried to help heal their masculine? That's not fair. Spirit's not going to put you in a position where you have to give and give and give and give and not get anything back. And that's the, you know, the way that the masculines have to learn what they need to heal. Sometimes the feminine needs to learn that you have to put boundaries in place with people. And if somebody is refusing to heal, is refusing to do the right thing, is refusing to, you know, go to therapy to address their addictions, if they're constantly trying to accuse you of being the reason that this is doing it, or that's just the way that I am and you need to accept me because I say so, and you need to, you know, basically be a second mother to me. <laughs> That's not helping either of you. And sometimes that's a karmic lesson that, you know, you can't heal other people. Loving a person more is not going to heal them. The only thing that is going to heal a person is recognizing what they need to heal and taking the steps to heal. And sometimes that means seeing the person that tried to love you being loved correctly by another person that actually appreciates them and that actually takes the time to get back to them and that is actually loyal because the king of pentacles is loyal that's your reading aquarius i hope you guys have a lovely week i'll be back with you soon bye